Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Wicked and today I will show you how to fix a major problem Samsung has kind of, you know, released with the QG5 bootloader and the QG5 firmware update. So a lot of uh, users experienced boot loops. They um, received the well-known device info fail in Odin and the problem will actually look like this. The device is actually boot looping somehow it's stuck on the first screen while booting up and let me show you if i will get into download mode let me explain the problem so that you may recognize yourself if you have this problem okay we're into download mode. we're gonna press continue and i'm gonna connect the usb type c to my personal computer and along with my phone as you may see in odin it says add it so right now you can try and flash anything, you will get this error. For example, I will try and flash this bootloader. I'll press start. And as you may see, it says fail. Fail and the error is device at device info. So all threads completed, so it says zero, failed one. And again, so we didn't fix that. It's still boot looping, it's still stuck on this uh, screen logo. Today I'm here to tell you how to fix this problem. And it's a really simple way, don't uh, worry, you're gonna fix your Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus after you watch this tutorial. Again, you'll need to get into download mode by pressing volume down, Bixby key and power key. And right now, again, connect the device to your computer by using your USB Type-C cable. Now, it is very important to click reset here in Odin. Again, just reconnect it so it says added the first line should say added here so added you gotta pay attention to what i'm gonna be telling you right now because it's kind of catchy it's kind of you you have to be fast again you'll need to download the previous bootloader released by samsung it is called the qf7 bootloader and load it up into the bl section right here as you may see the binary size says uh, 7.3 megabytes and everything is set as it should be now options here repetition should be Unticked, auto reboot should be ticked, and F reset time should be ticked. Pit, just leave it like it is. So, here is the state where you're gonna be flashing the bootloader, the previous bootloader, in order to get things back working. Take your phone and make sure you'll know the combination to get again into download mode. So, volume down, Bixby key, and power key, you'll have to press them all together immediately. Pay attention, immediately after you click the start button. You may want to have your device really close to your mouse so that you'll press even faster. So immediately after you press the start key, hold these three buttons and you'll get again into download mode without rebooting or getting again into the freezing screen. So press volume up again and now this, the same state remains with Odin and all you have to do right now is to press start again. So start and right now as you may see the Odin says pass and we're back into team recovery project. So that was the major problem as you may see the my internal storage pops up. That was the major problem. You couldn't get into TWRP, you couldn't get into any recovery mode, you couldn't boot up. And right now you have the access to Team Recovery Project, which is a really major step forward. So right now, you'll have to flash a zip, which contains some fixes for the QG5 bootloader. So you can boot up a QG5 firmware, a previous firmware again, different from the QG5 with no problem. So all you have to do is to connect to click mount in the TWRP menu, connect your device to your personal computer, as you may see here in internal storage. All you have to do right now is to copy this file from here to here. Of course, all the links for this tutorial are listed in the description, so no worries for that. Then unmount it, and then into TWRP, you'll need to go into install, search for the zip you just placed on your internal storage, which is the notorious version 2.0 beta, TWRP, okay. So right now it's flashing the compatible kernel and we should be ready from moment to moment. Patching RAM disk, it is flashing the TWRP update, flashing the bootloader, the baseband, so the QG5 bootloader and baseband and from time to time we should be ready to reboot. As you may see, our phone is kind of rebooting right now, yep. So from time to time we should see the boot animation and we're back as you may see this is the boot animation 
we've all been waiting for so your device is back working perfectly with TWRP as you may see and yep this is my device working right now working perfect so right now let me show you that I can actually get into TWRP so I will power off my device so my device is working perfectly again no need to do anything so how do you get into TWRP volume up Bixby key and power key hold it until uh, hold them until you see this logo and as you may see team recovery project is back and you can flash whatever you want previous firmware everything is working perfectly so no need to do anything more so your device is back and of course that was the tutorial for today i hope you like it i hope you successfully followed it so i hope i helped you if i did please make sure you leave a thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more awesome tutorials like this of course until next time thanks for watching wicked is out take care bye bye